Welcome to the Denver Auditor's Office Prevailing Wage Department. We protect Denver workers' wages to be sure that they're being paid the amount that they're entitled to under Denver law. When entering payroll for your employees, it is possible you will mistype something or there could be some kind of error. Watch our other video submitting your first payroll for tips on entering the information correctly the first time. This video will help you fix any problems after you have submitted the payroll. If there is an issue requiring you to edit a certified payroll, you will receive an email saying your certification was rejected by your investigator. The email will tell you why it was rejected and ask you to edit and resubmit the payroll. You will need this information soon. Errors which would require the editing and resubmission of payroll include misclassification of employees, typos on check information, such as transposed digits and reporting incorrect fringe amounts. Edits are always done to make the payroll record accurately reflect the amount paid to the employee. They are not done to pay restitution. To fix the issue, log into LCP Tracker, click the Certified Payrolls tab in the main part of the page here. If you have more than one project, make sure to select the correct one from the drop-down menu. Here you will see a bright red box marking the rejected payroll. Once you are ready to edit a rejected payroll, click the edit button next to the report and then click the edit button next to the person. On this next page, you will see several sections. Which one you use will depend on what your error was in the original report. You will find this information in the emailed rejection notification you already received. In this example, you had an incorrect classification so you will edit under the classification drop-down section. If there was a different problem, such as a typo, you might edit in a section like paycheck or fringes. Once you find the section you need to edit, select the edit button to the right of the page. Fix the error. Select the correct classification box and click on the save button. Then you will select cancel at the bottom of the page. Edited payrolls are not certified in the certification tab. To recertify the updated payroll, read the information on this page and agree by entering your name and title. Next, you will have a chance to enter your remarks. This box should be where you leave a note about why you are resubmitting or what change you made to the payroll. To finish, you will e-sign with the password you set up when creating your account. Often, it is the same password as the login. Do not check the box next to final unless this is the last payroll of the entire project. Select save. A PDF of your payroll submission will open. This is the document you may choose to save for your company's records. Now your fixed payroll is on its way back to your investigator for review. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. As always, our investigators are happy to help you stay in compliance with the